NFL players get paid the big bucks to show off their incredible talents, and with all that money they buy themselves some expensive stuff. These are the craziest cars that NFL players own. Let's start things off with the craziest car that one of the craziest players ever owns. Wide receiver Antonio Brown loves attention as much as anyone, so it might not surprise you when we share the details of this car. Antonio Brown owns a crazy Rolls-Royce Phantom with a one-of-a-kind paint scheme. Brown got his classic Rolls-Royce custom painted in black and yellow to match the Pittsburgh Steelers colors back when he was on the team. The Rolls-Royce Phantom features one of the all-time most silent cabin setups of any car. A 6mm double layer glazing surrounding the vehicle and 130 kilograms of sound insulation allows the Phantom to achieve this. The car features a super refined 6.7 liter V12 motor along with an 8 speed automatic transmission. Antonio Brown's luxurious Rolls Royce has 453 horsepower and 53 pounds to feet of torque, which allows this heavier car to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 6.1 seconds and can reach top speeds of 155 miles per hour. Antonio had to pay $500,000 to purchase this gem. Damn, AB's ride sounds absolutely wild. The next player we take a look at is quickly becoming the face of the league, and he bought a crazy car that matches his star power. Patrick Mahomes is the best current quarterback and we can expect that he will break a lot of records in his career. And his most expensive car is a Ferrari 812 Superfast. This particular model is the fastest road legal Ferrari on the market. Mahomes' car features a graphite metallic exterior paint job. The Italian supercar includes incredible handling. It's got incredible speed as well as impressive cargo space making it both fun and practical. The two-time Super Bowl winner's Ferrari is powered by a 6.5-liter V12 engine and has 788 horsepower. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds flat and reaches an impressive top speed of 211 miles per hour. Mahomes bought his Ferrari 812 Superfast for $338,000. These quarterbacks have some great taste, but let's not forget that some other players have some pretty ballin' rides as well. LaDainian Tomlinson was an incredible running back that could burn defenders with his speed. So when he retired, he wanted to ensure that he could continue to move faster than everyone else. That's why on his 40th birthday, he bought himself a Lamborghini Aventador S Coupe. Lamborghini Aventador S Coupe is charged by a 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12 engine that is able to generate up to 729 horsepower. Tomlinson's car can jolt from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and can reach a top speed of 217 miles per hour. Tomlinson bought himself this Lambo for $425,000. That baby can accelerate about as fast as the driver. Next is an iconic linebacker with a sick red Ferrari. Ray Lewis, one of the all-time greatest linebackers, is a proud owner of the Ferrari 458 Italia Coupe. The Ferrari 458 is beautifully designed with a lightweight and aerodynamic body as well as driver-centric interiors. This car is particularly fun to drive and is equipped with a 4.5-liter V8 engine with 562 horsepower as well as 398 pounds to feet of torque. The engine is paired with an extremely smooth 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission that allows the car to change gears particularly quickly. This Ferrari can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds and reaches a top speed of 202 miles per hour. The Ravens legend had to pay $240,000 to purchase this Italian sports car. Ray Ray's got a car with some mad power, but you know who's got an even more powerful car than the Ferrari? Gronk. Gronk's Bentley Continental GT Speed is his most expensive vehicle. The Bentley Continental GT Speed is more than just a car, one of the most luxurious and high-performing Bentley models ever made. This model of Bentley features a 6.0 liter twin-turbo W12 engine that produces 650 horsepower and 664 pounds to feet of torque. The Bentley Continental can reach a top speed of 208 miles per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. That Bentley is crazy, but not as crazy as the fact that you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. So go ahead and do that. Next up is a player that rolls to the beat of his own drum, so he bought himself a unique vehicle with a crazy paint job. Joe Burrow isn't only an amazing young quarterback, he also clearly has great taste in vehicles. His most expensive vehicle is the Acura NSX. 
This sports car is most famous for its gorgeous design and high level of performance. It features an all-wheel drive system that offers one of the smoothest driving experiences on the road. Burrow got his Acura NSX a custom black and orange paint job to match his Cincinnati Bengals team colors. He also has made some unique customizations to his car, such as new wheels and an upgraded exhaust system. The Acura NSX is powered by a 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 engine and has up to 573 horsepower. The car can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds and is capable of reaching a top speed of 191 miles per hour. The Bengals gunslinger paid $160,000 for his Acura NSX. Damn, Joe Burrow knows what's up. Randy Moss ain't fooling around either with his car purchase. Check out the classic that he got. Randy Moss used to burn defenders on the field with his speed and athleticism. During his career, he was an unstoppable force at the wide receiver position for multiple teams. Now, Randy Moss is retired and an owner of a beautiful black Lamborghini Gallardo. The Lamborghini Gallardo features a 5.2-liter V10 engine with 550 horsepower, 397 pounds to feet of torque, and it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in merely 3.2 seconds. Randy Moss's Gallardo can reach a top speed of 204 miles per hour and is worth $200,000. Some players opt for speed, others opt for power. Larry Fitzgerald goes with the car with a brilliant sound. Believe it or not, Larry Fitzgerald has one of the biggest car collections of any NFL player and his most expensive vehicle is the Lexus LFA. The Lexus LFA is most famous for its V10 engine, and that isn't due to its power or acceleration, but instead it is because of the unique sound the engine makes. This baby purrs like no other car in the world. The Lexus LFA is loaded with five cylinders that contribute to its incredible sound. The 2012 Lexus LFA has a 4.8 liter engine that offers 553 horsepower and 354 pounds to feet of torque. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 3.5 seconds and is capable of reaching a top speed of 202 miles per hour. Larry Fitz purchased his Lexus LFA new for $380,000, but due to the unique sound of the engine, you can't find one anymore for less than $1 million, even if you buy it secondhand. Wide receivers always seem to have the best style. The player coming in at number 10 on our list is not an exception. On the field, Odo Beckham Jr. is known for making some of the most ridiculous catches of all time. Off the field, he is rolling around in the Rolls-Royce Phantom drophead coupe. Odell got his Phantom refinished with a slick custom paint job that makes his vehicle truly unique. It is white and off-black. This Rolls-Royce is made more for luxury than performance. It takes 5.6 seconds for the Phantom drophead to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour, and it reaches a top speed of 149 miles per hour. Odell paid $480,000 for this vehicle before adding his customizations. Jeez, these cars are expensive, but these guys have the money to burn. Drew Brees bought a car that can rip with the best of them. The most valuable and immaculate car in Drew Brees' collection is his Bugatti Veyron. The Veyron was known as the fastest car in the world for almost a decade. It combined speed and power like very few other ever invented. The engineering of its body allowed this car to dart like a bullet. It is also built with quad turbochargers that allow the 1,000 horsepower beast to reach incredible speeds before you can blink. The Bugatti Veyron features a huge 8.0 liter quad turbo W16 engine with the power of 1,001 horses and 922 pounds to feet of torque. Drew Brees Bugatti only needs 2.5 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour and was the first ever road car that was capable of hitting top speeds of 250 miles per hour. Wow, that is just nasty. Drew Brees had to pay a pretty penny for this whip. It cost him $1.8 million, but we know that it was definitely worth every penny. Damn, that car is so fast that the only breeze you'll experience when he drives by is the wind that blows right by you. JJ Watt didn't go for a Bugatti, but he did still get some customization that makes his car pretty crazy as well. JJ Watt has been one of the greatest pass rushers in the NFL for a long time now. His most expensive car is the Audi RS7 sedan. The RS7 was designed with impressive performance features and great handling. Watt also customized with some serious upgrades. 
Watt added a Bose sound system and a mini fridge to his Audi. The vehicle is powered by a twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 engine capable of 560 horsepower and 516 pounds of feet of torque. The RS7 zips from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds and can go 174 miles per hour at maximum speed. The Houston Texans legend paid $116,000 to secure his Audi RS7. Not bad for the best defensive player of his era. Actually, that might be Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is an absolute beast. He's got to be one of the strongest men in the entire league. His most expensive car is a Bentley Continental GT, the ideal vehicle for luxury motoring and devouring continents. Aaron Donald got his Bentley finished in a red shade. The lineman has a pretty wicked car collection, but the Continental GT is by far the most beautiful and the most luxurious car in his garage. The Bentley Continental GT includes a powerful 6.0 liter twin turbocharged W12 engine that has some ferocious power. It has 626 horsepower and 664 pounds to feet of torque. Needless to say, the car is almost as beastly as its rightful owner. The Continental GT only needs about 3.5 seconds to get up to 60 miles per hour and can get up to a top speed of 208 miles per hour. It's definitely not cheap either. This car cost the former Defensive Player of the Year $230,000. Talking about crazy, we can't leave this next receiver off of our list. Terrell Owens was one hell of a wide receiver, but he was known to go a little off the rails at times. So it makes sense that his most expensive vehicle has tremendous off-road capabilities. Owens' car of choice is the Land Rover Range Rover. The Range Rover is backed by a 5.0 liter V6 engine that has 510 horsepower and 461 pounds to feet of torque. The Range Rover is an off-roading beast but is a little limited in the speed department compared to some of the other cars on this list. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.1 seconds and reaches a top speed of 132 miles per hour. T.O. bought his Range Rover for $120,000. Next is a quarterback that's done it all in his career, including by a car that is beyond your wildest dreams. There was a time when Matthew Stafford was the highest paid player in the NFL. The former first overall pick is putting together a Hall of Fame worthy career with multiple Pro Bowl appearances and a Super Bowl championship. The most expensive car that Stafford ever bought is the Rolls-Royce Wraith Coupe. This stunner includes a 6.6 liter twin turbo V12 engine as well as an 8-speed automatic transmission. This ferocious Rolls-Royce packs 624 horsepower and 605 pounds of feet of torque. With black badge configurations, which Stafford's model includes, the torque is actually increased to 642 pounds to feet. Jeez. It accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds, and it can reach a top speed of 155 miles per hour. Matthew Stafford's Rolls-Royce Wraith is worth $380,000. Stafford's Rolls-Royce is mint, but I have a lot of admiration for the combination of style and practicality of this next player's car. Dak Prescott might be the quarterback of America's team, but his most expensive car is an Italian SUV. Prescott's pricey ride is a Lamborghini Urus. It includes an incredibly powerful V8 engine and offers top-of-the-line acceleration and handling. Even at high speed, Dak can control the Uros as comfortably as he controls an NFL offense. The Lambo has a 4.0 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine that gives Dak's car 641 horsepower. Considering it is an SUV, the Uros absolutely flies. It can reach a maximum speed of 190 miles per hour and only takes 3.6 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. Dak purchased this car for $250,000. From cowboy star to cowboy legend, let's check out what kind of crazy vehicle Deion Sanders has. Deion Sanders was one of the flashiest players on the field back in his era, and he has a car that matches his personality. His most expensive car is a Porsche 911 Carrera S Cabriolet. Primetime's Porsche is a mid-sized convertible with a rhodium silver metallic finishing. It has also been customized with Bordeaux red leather interior that contrasts the car's paint job. The Porsche is not only the most expensive, but also the fastest in Sanders' car collection. It can go 0 to 60 in 4 seconds and reaches a top speed of approximately 180 miles per hour. The safety paid $100,000 for his Porsche 911 Carrera. You gotta admire the beauty of Sanders' Porsche. Here comes another all-time great quarterback with another crazy Italian vehicle. The legendary Brett Favre is also owner of the Lamborghini Urus. 
The SUV isn't only luxurious, but it is quite a practical car as well, with a great driving feel and superior handling. As stated, this Lamborghini features a 4.0 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine, can generate 641 horsepower and 627 pounds to feet of torque. The Udros can get up to 190 miles per hour and accelerates from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds. Brett Favre had to pay $250,000 for his Lamborghini Udros. Let's check out the craziest vehicle of a player formerly known as the GOAT. Joe Montana is a three-time Super Bowl MVP winner, and he has an old-school car that represents the era he dominated very well. Joe Montana's most expensive car is a 1985 Mercedes-Benz 500. The 1985 Mercedes-Benz 500 has a 5.0-liter V8 motor featuring 242 horsepower and 295 pounds-to-feet of torque. Not as fast as some of the new sports cars on our list, Montana's Benz gets from 0 to 60 in 7.3 seconds and reaches a top speed of 143 miles per hour. The vehicle was purchased by the Hall of Fame quarterback for $150,000. Montana was known as the GOAT until this next player overtook him. Tom Brady is the greatest football player ever and he has an amazing car collection worth millions of dollars as evidence. But Brady's prized possession is his Bugatti Veyron Supersport. This car can absolutely fly. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds and can hit a maximum speed of 268 miles per hour. That is insane. The car is extremely rare too. Bugatti only produced 450 Veyrons over a 10 year span. Tom Brady belongs to a very elite club of celebrities who own this car, which includes Tom Cruise, Jay-Z, and Simon Cowell. So you know it isn't cheap. Brady bought his Bugatti for $3 million. Last but not least, let's take a look at the player with the most expensive car in the entire NFL. Even though Aaron Rodgers isn't the flashiest guy in the NFL, he went full out when he purchased the nicest car in his garage. Aaron Rodgers' most expensive vehicle is an extremely rare concept car, the Maybach Accelero. The Accelero was first released to the public in the year 2005. The car was designed by Stola in a collaboration project with Daimler Chrysler. Rogers Accelero was based on a modified version of the company's Maybach 57S model. It is powered by a 5.9 liter twin turbocharged V12 engine that has a maximum output of 690 horsepower. The design of the Accelero was influenced by the classic Bugatti Type 41 Royale. The car features a sharp aerodynamic body as well as a luxurious black and silver paint job. The interior of the Accelero is equally impressive to the exterior. All the seats in this design are both heated and ventilated. The sound system is pretty sick too. The Maybach Accelero is powered by a twin turbocharged 5.9 liter V12 engine with 690 horsepower and 752 pounds to feet of torque. It is also an extremely powerful vehicle. The Accelero car can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds and is capable of reaching a top speed of 218 miles per hour. Aaron Rodgers broke the bank when he purchased his Accelero for $8 million. There you have it. Those were the craziest cars that NFL players own. Thanks for watching and click on the video up on your screen for more great NFL related content.